This is the Dana 300 transfer case shifter mechanism. It's been taken off and you're looking at the twin stick shifter setup that's on here and then you can see the two shifter rails. So a common problem with the Dana 300 is that it can pop out of gear and this happens when I've especially noticed it in low range where the rear axle can disengage and if your engine breaking down a hill or something that's not a good situation so i found a fix for this and just wanted to show it in this video i hope you enjoy <music> Uh, that's the issue with, with, with the transfer case when that happens. So, five pounds to come out. And up here is low range. This is low range. And what I notice is the rear axle can pop out of low range. So, five pounds to pop it out of low range. This would be high range which that's even less but for whatever reason it doesn't come out of low range I got three or high range I got three pounds on the rear axle coming out of low range okay so to come out of the front axle out of high range is eight pounds so now we're going to change the springs and we'll see what the difference is all right, let's take this apart. This is a twin stick kit that I got from JB Customs many years ago. Okay, let's try rotating this. I think that, yeah, there we go. There's, there are three detents on the bottom right there. That's what that ball hits. This is the one spring. This is for the, the front axle. And then we need a magnet that sits in there like that. Here's the other one and the other spring. And if I look at these two, they don't, they don't look, they don't look totally the same to me. The thing I'm noticing is these two holes are different depths. And And so the one for the rear axle is deeper. It's not even gonna work. That's not, that has no chance of working. All right, I got the push gauge here. See, this is the rear axle, or no, uh, the front axle, the one that worked better. Yeah, I'm getting, on the side that was weaker, I'm getting like 20 pounds on a press and I'm getting 30 pounds here. The spring is getting preloaded more because it's sticking up higher for the front axle. So I need to extend the length of the spring, I guess. Uh, here's the real problem here is there's not enough preload on this spring. All right, so now the springs have some shims put into them to get them to the same height as the one that was for the front drive shaft because that one had a little higher force. Okay, this is a lot more. I can tell you that right now. This, this is my problem when I'm in low range right here. Okay. 
So 21 pounds. That was like five pounds before. 